Hey guys, good morning. Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alright, Mr. Brian Gardner. Now, uh, Brian here went ahead and um, he requested a, uh, you know, well, he bought a Trinity with a 500 gig drive. He also requested that he wanted to see it done live. Because I was like, and the way he worded it, it was really, it was really cool, and I appreciate his, his enthusiasm and, uh, you know, it's his first RGH, which is, you know, there's been a lot of people that have been in influx um, purchasing these things, you know, which is, to my surprise, since they've been around forever. But, you know, I mean, hey, who am I to question why? I'm just a do or die. So, uh, Brian, this is, this is your match right here. We're starting off with a base model Trinity. As you can see, everything's all cleaned up, make sure everything is good. And uh, what we're going to do here, okay, is I'm going to pre tin the board. Now, I already did the chip, as you can see, okay, so there's all your, uh, there's all your solder points and everything, all the wires going to it. All right, and what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to pre tin this board, okay? So, let's start off at the beginning and end at the end, and hopefully everything will turn out all right. Like I said, no guarantees. Now, I already tested this motherboard. It's in great shape. And as you can see, it's in really, really clean motherboard for sure. I mean, because, um, you know, I'm used to working with a, a lot of crazy stuff here. And this one still had the original uh, original Xbox seal on it. So I was like, okay, that's cool. So, you know, I know it was never taken apart by anybody. So that's a good thing. And it was in very good shape. Uh, hardly any dust. I mean, I, I think this thing was put up in a closet or something. So, you know whatever you know i mean but and it ran real good drive worked right everything worked right so i'm like okay you know one less thing i have to worry about so go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to pretend this thing so then that way then we can get the ship up on there and we're pretending our power right here i always take power from here because there's no flyback when this thing shuts down and that's something that's very important okay yeah that's all pretend and now what we'll do is <clears throat> we will go ahead and what we will do is I will see if I can move this a little closer for you guys without it being in my way. Alright. And we'll peel the sticker off of this chip right here. Okay. And as you can see this is an original this is a real A ship. Okay. We'll move this Torado a little bit. And we'll place that little mother right here. Alright. Going, that ain't going anywhere. Okay, now we're gonna knit one Pearl 2 here. Okay, so this is our reset cable right here. We're gonna shove that underneath here. We pick up on the chip to get it past the uh, resistors on there and a couple of caps, which we just did. <coughs> this is your post out right here. Okay, known as C. Bring that underneath there. Straighten that out right there. Pull that down. And then, of course, we have E and F here. And e and F. Grab hold of that. Put that underneath there. Straighten that one out. And tie this one and pull that underneath there and straighten that one out. Okay. Now, now that's done. Okay, we're going to shove our reset cable in that hole right there. We're going to take post out to see. Put it through here. Okay. Then what we're going to do? Grab hold of these cables right here, and what we're going to do? We're going to trim this one down here. There we go. And we'll tie that to there. That's our five bolts right there. There we go. One. Flex that down and like this. And you want to keep this away from this hole right here because that's where the tray caddy goes. Alright. You don't want to be poking a screw through that. Alright. Now, hold this and then we'll trim this wire right here. I don't like excess wire. There's no need for it. Okay. Now, we'll trim that up. Okay. And then we'll tie that to here. like that oh. 
There we go. Alright, we're good. And then we'll just do that right there. So everything's good there. And we'll put a little hot glue right here. That way it'll lock those wires down. And we'll lock them down there. Just like that. Okay. Now, <coughs> it's all done. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take E and F. Okay, so we're going to trim this one first. We'll go right here. One. And I'm going to trim this one right here. Right along this one right here. Straighten that out a little bit. Trim this wire right here. Just like that. Strip that wire just a little bit. Don't want to have too much. Here we go. Twist that up there. There we go. So, take this right here. Put that in there. There we go. Okay. And we will go ahead and what we will do is we will take these wires and we will glue them down. Yeah. Okay. There we go. It should hold. And we'll put one more strip right here. Just for haha's -ha sake. Hey Stuart, how are you man? Good to see you brother. Sean, how you doing bro? Ah, yes, I can see you waiting in the lawn for the, for the, for the postman to come, and come. I, mean, I can see you just like tackling him, and grabbing the Xbox and running in the house and saying, gee, I'm sorry I ran over your face, but I wanted my Xbox, you know? I can see you doing that, Sean. Don't know why, just, just, just can see it. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I kind of get that way when I'm, when, when I'm waiting for my stock to come in, you know, and like it's a day late. And I'm waiting for the FedEx guy to come, and he comes, and I'm like, Bitch, where the frick have you been, you son of a mother? Where's my frickin' Xboxes? And he's just like looking at me, going like, Oh my god. <laughs> Get a box. <laughs> now, we'll go ahead, and what we'll do here, we'll trim this. That's our uh, that's our post out wire. I want to make sure you don't have too much hanging out, because like I said, there's a capacitor right there. And a resistor, well, two capacitors, actually. So you gotta be careful, and I'm gonna trim this right here. Okay? Then what we're gonna do is put a little light on the subject. We are gonna grab some flux. And we're gonna flux C5R11. Okay? And our little post out right there. Give it a little bit of flux. And we'll grab some solder right here. Okay? And it's good to see you, Stuart. I hope everything's going good. Oh, you're wearing a hazmat suit. Good, you're gonna need that, okay? <laughs> oh shit. I hope you don't mind the shotgun shells that I packed in there also. Um anyway. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna pretend this right here. That's our thing, there we go. And we're gonna pretend our post out. Okay. Here we go, nice. Cute little solder, solder balls, just like um, Bob Ross with his paintings, you know? Yes, with his little, pretty little trees, I have pretty little solder balls, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab hold of this one right here. going to bend this down right here. Hit that with the iron. There we go. Take care of that. I'm going to do this one right here. Put that right next to the solder ball. There we go. Alright. <coughs> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead with a pull on this. Flex that around just like that. And that way, then that stays there. Then we'll grab hold of the solder iron right here. Or I should say, excuse me, the hot glue gun, duh. I don't know, it's over to my right. This is to my left. Okay, now, yeah. put a little glue here. Okay, put some right here. 
and some right here just to keep it secured. Well, nice and simple. <laughs> yes, I am, Tommy. <laughs> you can call me Skate Daddy. They put three oversized fuel injectors in my heart, all right? Not to mention the nitrous and the freaking turbocharger. Well, I'm all good. <laughs> okay? So anyway. All right, now. <laughs> yeah, it take a lot more to stop me, <laughs> stop me than a heart attack, man. Okay? That was minor. <laughs> that was nothing. I will, tell, I, I will tell you this, though. Guys, if you ever uh, think about what it's, what it's like to feel one of them, take a 1947 Buick and put it on your chest. And have it bounce up and down on you with an air ride suspension for like four or five times. That's the equivalent of a heart attack, okay? No big deal. In fact, uh, <laughs> the doctor was like, I can't believe you waited that long to come. <laughs> I was like, I'm a stubborn fucker. I figured it would fix itself, but it didn't. So, you know, it's just the way it is. So anyway, now we got some heat sink freaking paste on there. Yeah, I just blew a load. There you go. That's what happens when you don't wear a condom. I'll shove that in there. Grab hold of this thing. Bring this up over here. Apply some pressure to it, and that way then it spreads the paste out nice and even. Take your friggin' X-clamp right here. Grab it there. Grab it there. Clip there. Clip there. Good solid. We're good. All right. And mind you, remember, this friggin' thing does not hold the heat sink on. As you can see, it, it, the heat sink moves, okay? What pulls the heat sink down are these screws that go through the chassis. The reason why you have this hex clamp is because this part right here is pushing up on the center. So that way then you don't wind up with the board warping. Because when it warps like this, a BGA bus does not like that. And for the people that have did the X clamp fix, the ones that were lucky, hey, God bless you. Okay? But I can I can tell you what, there's countless thousands that were not. Okay? That's why you don't do that fix. You you either reflow it, reball it. And put the proper X clamp on it because that's the way it was engineered, or don't touch the damn thing, okay? You know, because I've seen several that have come in with that X clamp, that so called X clamp fix that I had to reball, okay? I don't like reballing, it sucks, all right? It really does, okay? Yeah, it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and it's a pain in the freaking ass. So please, if you think you're gonna perform the X clamp fix, please don't do that, okay? Yeah, do it proper, all right? There is such a thing as doing it right. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. We're going to solder that there. Okay, that's blue. Okay, this one's going to be our green wire right here. And this wire needs to get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> that's too many fucking wires. <laughs> here we go. That should be soldered good. Okay, now we're going to start at the top and work our way down. Okay, so that's our black right there. That should be good. Or red, hopefully. We shall see. I don't like that connection. That's a little better. Okay. And then, of course, we have our brown, our orange, and our yellow. Orange! Clockwork orange, yes. Nothing like putting makeup on and beating the shit out of somebody at night. Okay. <laughs> if anybody remembers Clockwork Orange. <laughs> That was a good movie. That was a crazy movie. I love that movie. Okay. Yes, they serve milk plus. <laughs> yeah. I think it was LSD based. Okay. So anyway, in there. All right, there's our yellow. Okay, now, with an insane amount of luck, this thing will see the demand and read it. Let's plug it in and see if it catches on fire. Nope, not today. All right, that's good. <laughs> Gotta watch that fire shit, you know. That's cool. Fire, 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 fire. Okay, now, we'll start up uh, J Runner. That's if Windows lets it because it keeps blacklisting it as a freaking virus, and I'm like, fuck, stupid. All right, okay. So, anyway, all right, good, we're good. There's our J Runner. All right, now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to program this chip. And so, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this right here. And as you can see, I'm attaching the J Runner to the ACE chip. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to pick a timing file, any timing file, not really, but we're going to pick one. We'll do custom NAND, and then we're going to go to XS, XSVF, we'll go over here, and we'll go to Trinity, most of the time, you're going to go to 60.3 range right here, and you're going to pick 60.3, uh, uh, three, uh, 3 in the length. Alright, now, uh, hopefully, we will run, it will see it, yes, 
factory firmware detected. Yeah, we want to rewrite it. Okay, and there it goes. Now it's going to rewrite it. Most of the time, this timing file will will kickstart any any Trinity up. You know, with this with this type of setup right here. You know, and then it just takes a little bit of fine tuning if if need to. You know, when it goes back in the cage with everything around it and everything plugged into it. So anyway, yeah, we're just going to write this uh, little timing file right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to read the freaking NAND on this damn thing. All right, so. Okay, there we go. Success. Good. Now we're going to read the NAND. Okay, this is going to be three minutes of our life right here. So we're going to hit read, hopefully. Yep, good. There it is. Trinity. All right, good. Sirens, good. Read the freaking NAND. Thank you so much. All right, so we got three minutes of death right here. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Hey, Antonio, how are you, man? Joe Ward, what's up? Tommy McCallum, man. Dude, I haven't seen you in a while. What you been up to? Huh? It's good to see you guys, man. It really is. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I haven't seen you in a while, and I was like going like, I wonder where Tommy's been, you know, and I mean, you know, and lo and behold, there you are. But it's good to see all you guys, man. I miss you guys, you know. But, um, you know, so anyway, it is no big deal. I mean, you can see this is pretty simple right here. It's pretty simplistic. It's not a big deal. Um, you know, it's not like you're doing dual man where you have, you know, demons, all kinds of good stuff right here, you know. I'm working on one right now, actually, that I haven't, that I haven't finished. Well, I need, but I didn't. You know what I'm saying here, okay? Um, it's got dust on it, a lot of it. This is gonna be a. I'm gonna do this crazy thing with this damn thing. All right, now, as you all remember, of course, you can't forget. Yeah, boobs. <laughs> but um, in my bag of tricks here, I've, I'm also uh, delving on doing a uh, PS4 because I have one, and um, I think it's doing something here. But this is gonna be a 3D one. That I've that I've uh, that I've had running and everything. I'm just gonna put it together. You can see the dragon, but there is a disc that goes on top of the heart that goes on top of the DVD drive. That's gonna be spinning. That's gonna be like anything of the world or whatever. And I'm thinking about going around it with LEDs, so as it's spinning, the lights go through and everything. But we're gonna be working on that a little later on. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. And um, why I might be get well, I, you know, I always do custom custom uh, Xboxes for a giveaway. Okay, I'm not one of these cheap motherfuckers that just want to slam a console on there and say, oh, look what I did, okay? Now, every one of them that I've done has always been custom and has always been fully loaded with all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm looking at doing a, uh, a giveaway, okay? and I'm also looking at doing a sale, uh, you know, just for the hell of it, okay? Uh, I might do 10% off or whatever, maybe a little bit more. Not sure, but we will see. We will see. Yeah, I know you haven't, Tony. I've, I, I've seen you, man. Yeah, you know, I the workman gets the best of me. <laughs> I know that story, guys. I really do. Listen, I'm I, I'm gonna tell you what. Uh, you know, I mean, I was 38 years, or I should say, 39 years in a service truck doing HVAC, and I worked on elect, oh, electrical systems. You know, I, I did a lot of uh, analog to digital, um, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, CPC, computer process controls, and stuff like that. You know, that's where I get my electric background from. And, uh, you know, I mean, I miss it, but it don't, all right, you know, I mean, it's nice, you know, uh, I mean, now, of course, this heart attack, uh, kind of like, oh, you know, I mean, hasn't hindered me, as you can see, I'm fine with this shit, it ain't no big deal, okay, this is easy, um, however, though, you know, it made me, uh, actually retire, okay, from the HVC field, which was cool, I'm not gonna complain about that at all, you know, I mean, because after 38 years, you know, I mean, you know, that's, that's a long time, okay? I, I was doing it since I'm 18. I'm 53. Okay, so, you know, it's <laughs> about time. So, you know, I mean, I'm going to be, uh, actually, what I'm going to be doing is expanding, and I'm going to be building computers, emulation machines. I've also got a bigger, gigantic laser coming, uh, which is going to be a 36 by, uh, by uh, 28 uh, 100-watt uh, laser, CNC laser. I've got my, um, I've got my 3D printer now. I got my 5-axis working. Um, I'm expanding the shop a little bit more, so, and I'm going to be also building gaming machines, custom computers, and all kinds of freaking crazy shit that everybody wants, you know, and I mean, and I've always, I, I've, I've worked with computers since 1982, when they, when they were first coming out for, you know, at home, you know, 16K RAM, 32K ROM, wow, you know, but, um, I've been, I've been doing this shit before a lot of people were freaking born, and, you know, I mean, this stuff hasn't really changed, same old crap, so, 
you know, I'm just looking at doing a lot of custom work for computers and stuff as well. You know, custom motor blocks, crazy stuff like that, you know. I mean, if people can afford it, hey, all well and fine and dandy, you know. I mean, it takes time to engineer that kind of stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. But that's what I'm going to do. All right, so anyway, um, okay, now, look, okay, here's the deal. All right, so we read it, okay, life is grand. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click CR4, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the ECC, and then I'm going to write the ECC, okay, and now it's going to write the, uh, now it's going to write the first 50 blocks over, oh, over the NANDs, and that way then we can get the CPU key, all right, you plug my handy dandy starter up or freaking crazy freaking ROL thingy-majiggy in there, all right, and, uh, let's see here, is it in? That's what she said, yes, okay, and I'll tell you what we're going to do here, all right, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plug the HDMI in this thing, now, uh, hopefully, with the same amount of luck and, you know, maybe if everything is working right and I got the right timing file, it should work. Let's try it. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and life is good. And as you can see, yeah, booted. Okay. So, second pulse. But that's just for the ECC. That's just for Zell. All right, so... Anyway, there you go. Let me turn off this light. Boy, that looks fucking bright in there. All right, so anyway, there you are. All right, now, you know, I mean, I don't want to show a CPU key. So we'll just go ahead and what we'll do is we will turn the camera down because this is somebody's CPU key and I don't want that to be, you know, to be let out. Okay, so anyway, now what we're going to do here is I'm going to take a picture of this mother. All right, uh, let me see here now. I've got a new phone right here. This is one of those same on crazy phones, okay, you know, I mean, so, we grab a picture, yeah, here we go, okay, so, we're going to grab a photo of the CPU key, and we put that in there, there we go, okay, we're good, all right, got it, and now what we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to input that in here, so now, we can turn this off right here, okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to input the CPU key in, all right, which is then going to decrypt the NAND, which is then going to allow me to build the hack, in, hack the image. So, let's do this here, okay? The CPU key, okay. Okay, now, okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I get tickled. <laughs> yeah, here we go. D, yeah, uh, yeah, D, D, yeah, D, that's it. Yeah, let's see here now. 60, yeah, yeah, okay. And then we got the F2E, okay. Two, e. Oh. No, it went wrong. <laughs> it went wrong for some reason. Don't know why. All right, let's do this again here. And maybe because I'm holding the keyboard. Maybe I hit one by accident. The wrong way. Don't know. E. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. Six. All right. Okay. Eight, one. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we're going. Seven, one. Yeah. Seven, one. Okay. Okay. Seven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two, eight, 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 five, eight, uh-huh, six, eight, 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 Okay, so we're going to hit no because I put that in there. Okay, now, that was Alexi's SMC bin. Okay, and there we go, and she made it. Okay, good. And now what we're going to do, we're going to write the NAND. Okay, and there we are. All right, now, we're writing the NAND, okay? So what I'm going to do here, just for haha's -ha sake, okay, I'm going to do this. There we go. Everybody wonders why my monitor freaking dies and all this crap, okay, let's see here, okay, there, yeah, yeah, that don't give it too much, there we go, okay, so anyway, as you can see, all right, it's now writing the NAND, okay, right, yeah, <laughs> a little blue, okay, 
Or Bizarro will come get you. Yeah, I know. I need to, man. <laughs> Once again, yeah. This one, this one is like, this one is older than dirt. And, you know, I mean, it's got sentimental value because it was the last thing that my mother ever gave me. You know, I mean, so there it is, you know. I mean, now I have a decent monitor right here. That's a decent freaking monitor right there. Uh, this one is needs a little help, you know. So, and I mean, and I have a monitor. I just, you know, I wasn't penciling in a heart attack or anything like that, you know. So it, it kind of didn't fit in my schedule. All right. <laughs> you know, I mean, so that kind of like, like put things off a little bit too. And, and, and you know, I mean, seriously. You're damn right I am, Adam. I am. Believe me, I I love doing this stuff. Uh, you know, I, I mean, in fact, um, yeah, I, I I've got a couple things that I'm working on that are gonna that are really strange. It's weird. And no, it's not a gigantic vibrator, okay, with a dynamite tip head, okay. It, no, it's not that, okay. Well, I, mean, I am thinking about building one of them, all right. But um, you you, you know, I mean, uh, like you said, man, you do what you love, and you know, I mean, if you can do it do it, you know, I mean, don't, don't let anybody tell you different, and when they say, oh, you can't do that, spit in their eye and say, watch me, okay, you know, I mean, it's that simple, that's what I do anyway, you can't do that, you want to make a freaking bet, or I can freaking do anything, all right, so, please, and I survived the heart attack, so I seen death, you know what, it doesn't scare me in the least bit, so go ahead, piss me off, think I care, I don't, all right, now, um, anyway, you know, I think they're doing some weird stuff, but the problem is with this thing, though, is, is that this is bolted to the back here, to the back of this thing, and this is the problem right here. You see, I have this completely connected, okay, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I built this thing, and there's two desks put together, and I have to unbolt the damn thing. Then I have to pull it away, okay. There's also a full computer mounted back there, and also a full, full computer mounted underneath the desk here, okay, you know. And then not to mention also, we have that mess over there where uh, we've been actually... Uh, I've been building computers and stuff for people, as you can see. Okay, so, you know, I mean, it's getting, getting, getting crazy. But that's okay. I enjoy it, okay, because it's fun, you know? And, um, you know, what the hell? You only live once, right? So, you know how that goes. <laughs> yes, I've read your mind. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I'm looking at the... I'm going to have to because it's not big enough. And, you know... I mean, with me retiring and everything like that, well, now I have something where I can go full-time now with this thing, which is exactly what I'm going to do, which should scare a lot of people, <laughs> you know, I mean, because I have a lot of people that, um, you know, ask me, man, you build computers, well, with the Xbox, I didn't have the time to do that, but now, you know, being that I am fully retired from regular working, <laughs> now there's a lot of things I'm going to do, okay, you know, <laughs> I got to do them before I die, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Yeah, hey, doctor gave me a clean bill of health, too. I'm doing real good, and, um, you know, my heart's coming back way better than they even thought it would. They're, like, going, like, you're insane. I'm like, I am an animal! <laughs> okay, we're good. Yay! All right, now, 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 hopefully, hopefully, within the same amount of luck, this thing will actually boot. All right, now, all right, it wrote the NAND. Okay, life is good. All right, I'm going to put you over here. Let's look at it there. That way, then you can see that. Okay, there's a chip. Now, you know, I mean, there's no guarantee that this thing is going to boot with this timing file. There is no guarantee. And this is just to test it and see if it does come up and if it does boot. And hopefully it will. All right. And then once you get it back in the chassis, that's when you fine-tune it and everything is all, you know, because, you know, everything around the motherboard is actually affected by radio waves, you know, interference. That's why there's Faraday cages around the thing and everything else. So, you know, once you get it in the chassis, all that metal, you got to make sure because it will... It will interfere with it. It will change the boot times, okay? Also, when you plug everything into it, that's another thing that happens, you know, that changes boot times, too. So, anyway, uh, alright, so we're good there, alright? So, let's boot this thing up. Let's see what happens here. Let's see. It's one, two, three, four, five. This one's going to be a stubborn one. I see it coming. Six. Oh, yeah, this one's going to be a real stubborn one. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, this one's going to be stubborn. Okay, so anyway, booty. Okay. See what happens here. Yep, there we go. Okay. So anyway, as you can see, you know, I mean, that's stubborn. Now, now, now that is just, this is just out of the box, you know, boot, boot time. Okay. So we'll shut it down. I'm going to try it again here. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, this one's going to be stubborn. If you don't get it by three, there's room for improvement. Okay. So, you know, I mean, that's, that, that's four. 
five, six. That's the one. Yep, there you go. Okay, so that booty. So that's it. That, that's six. Okay. Now, here's the funny thing about this. Okay, is is when you do this. Okay. Now look, it booted. Okay, life is grand right now. Let me put you guys back over here. All right, there you go. All right. Now, the funny thing about this thing is, is this, is that. Okay. You saw how it booted now, but that's out of the cage. Okay. Let's see when we put it back in the cage what it does, because that could correct itself. You would be shocked. All right. You know, I know I am most of the time. And if not, then we're going to try different timing files, which is no big deal. So I'm going to unplug this thing and everything else, all right? I'm going to pull this mother freaker out here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to de-shred all this crap right here, okay? So that's one. That's two. All right, good. Sweat that. Pop that off, this one, and that one. Okay? So we're good, all right? Not bad. Not too shabby. All right. See what we'll do. You know, we'll grab hold of a Q-tip. Just for haha -ha sake. I mean, it's no clean flux, but you know how that goes. Well, there ain't any clean flux off the board. Well, we, we, if it says no clean flux, like um, right here, where it says no clean flux, usually you ain't got to clean it, okay? You know what I mean? You know. But anyway, you know, you get these idiots and, uh, ain't clean flux. Uh, uh, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, I love the wannabes. <laughs> okay. Now. All right, so we're good there. Okay, life is grand. Now we're going to take this little mother and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab this board right here. I'm going to get this mess here. We're trying not to sit on anything. All right? Cassie. Ha ha. Okay. Shut the damn thing in there. Okay? Grab that. Put that on there. And then what we'll do. Let's see here. We'll go ahead. We'll plug this mess in right here. That will go there. And then you got the prophylactic for a midget right here. Okay, here we go. Yep, put that in there. Slam that down there just like that. See, that's the reason why I said you got to keep those wires out of there. Because if you do not, well, guess what's going to happen? It's not going to be pretty. Okay? Now, grab a ground bar for a disk drive. That will go there. Okay. And let's see here. Plug that down on there. All right, now, go ahead. All right, let's wipe this off. Wait that it's nice and clean. Okay. Good enough for the girls. We go with! Okay, now I'll shove that down on there. And then what we'll do is we will go ahead, and what we will do is we will put one screw. We don't need the soldering iron anymore. All right, good. Now we will go ahead and we will put a screw in here. And that should lock this down. So that way I can flip it upside down. And not have little parts go everywhere, okay? So, and not have the motherboard go everywhere either. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to do one more, which is going to be on the DVD drive. Which is right here. Okay. So, there you are. So, we have our, we have our screws holding it all in. And as you can see, nothing coming out. Good. That's a good thing. And as you can see, yes, this had the original seal on it too. So I know it wasn't opened by anybody. So, life is good. And what we'll do now is we will put our X-clamp screws in. Let's see how this works. <laughs> okay. I will tell you this, though. You know, and all the doctors that, that have been calling me and everything, they're driving me nuts. The medication I'm taking is ridiculous. And they said I should be able to come off of it. And I'm like, oh, like that's good because I can't wait. Because every day I'm taking these pills. Now, all right, look, it's not my normal regimen of an eight bowl of cocaine. All right, not cool. I, you know, the pills that they're giving me don't do anything for me, so I'm just like, ah, uh, fuck this shit. You know, I mean, so I want to get off of them as quickly as I can because right? I can't take it anymore. Okay, now we'll put all these screws in here, make sure that they're tight, and these are the actual screws that hold the heatsink down to the damn GPU or the XG CPU, I should say, on this one. All right, now, we'll go ahead, we will put all these in. There we go, one, two. All right, and this and this and this. Okay, and I'm going to tighten this board down, all right? Come on now, you stupid mother. Okay, there we go. All right, now, okay. 
Oh, I'm screwed with the eye. It will freaking hurt you. Okay, it's two. This together is three. This one. And this one right there. There we go. Yeah, now we'll grab hold of it. Flip it around. Damn, I'm so good, isn't it? Look, notice the fingers never left a hand on that one. Hey, right, now. We got... <laughs> okay, we got all that done. Okay? Now, just for ha-ha sake... All right, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to plug this thing in right here. Okay, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug this in. Okay, good. No shorts, no nothing, no smoke, no fire, no flames. Good. All right, now I'm going to take this freaking crazy thing, this camera here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. Okay, because we need to see what we can do here. Okay, now, can you see? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. Sheldon, how are you, man? Doing good, brother. Is there time for... <laughs> Oh God, Sean got his Xbox. Look out, man! It's over. <laughs> it's all over, but the crying. Okay. So anyway, now, now what we'll do is we're going to try this, okay, without any accessories plugged in, just, just with the chassis, and let's see what it does. I'll give this a shot here. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Five. <laughs> six. Yeah. Yeah, this one's going to be a stubborn one. Seven. Eight. That's the one that got it. You can tell because it just, it, 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 it just, whoop. It just, you can watch the light just like, it doesn't like, like come out immediately. It, 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 it goes from, from light to bright, you know? So anyway, alright. So that was eight, okay? That's not cool, alright? So, tell you what, we're going to change the timing file on this thing just for haha's sake. Let's see here. We'll plug this in right here. Okay. Put a little pressure on it, that way then it connects. Alright, now what we're going to do, we're going to go advanced. Custom NAND. Alright, now. Let's see if we can get this timing file right. Okay? Um, in fact, we're going to try one down. So we're going to try five. And like I said, you know, I mean, it all depends. The, you know, every one of these things is different. They got a plus or five, plus or minus five percent tolerance, which means they're allowed five percent over or under with the entire build of the motherboard. So, you know, I mean, all of them are unique to their own. You know, it's just the way that it is. And this is not an exact science; it's more guesstimates. Okay, good, because we're guesstimating the the amount of time it takes to break that freaking CPU. All right, now let's try that. Yep, that's the one. There you go. See? One time and file, just, just by one. All right? Now, mind you, I say that now, okay? I don't have all the accessories plugged in. Let's see how this works. Okay, so we're going to shut it off. We're going to turn it off. Okay, good. Make sure... Come on, turn off. I hate the background downloads. There we go. All right, we're going to try it again here. Let's see. That's one. That's two. That's three. Dump, nope, missed it. Got it, got it that time. All right. Let's see what happens here. Now, wait. Hang on. I'm going to turn it off. Turn it off. Come on. Come on. There we go. We'll turn it back on. Yeah. Okay. We'll turn it off. We'll turn it back on now again. Come on. Okay, that's one. Yep, there we go. That got it. Yep. Okay, so that's, uh, that was a four, that was one, four, uh, two, one, and we just did one again. Try it again. Okay, that's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. I don't like this timing file. It's, it's all over the place. Yeah. It's going to eventually get it, but I don't like it. Because it's just, no. Uh-uh. That, that's the one right there. See? You can always tell when it's going to go. See, uh, you know, see, I, I don't like that. That's just, no. No, no, I'm not doing that. And in fact, I bet you any amount of money, if I pull a power supply on this thing and I plug it back in, I bet you it's going to act like an asshole. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Mm, that's one. It's two. Three. Four. Yeah, see? That's the one. Boop. Okay. So, let's try something a little different here. Okay? We're gonna, we're not gonna go to point three. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to 
point zero. We're going to try that. So we're going to go. Here we go. All right. So we're going to go to 300 megahertz, but we're going to go to 60 point zero. Let's see what happens there. We're going to put in three. We can make it better or worse. Who the hell knows? Okay. But we're going to try it. <clears throat> All right. Just for ha ha sake. Like I said, it's not. It, it, this can go. This can go on and on and on. Okay. It all depends on you know what, where, how, and who. You know, because like I said, with this wiring setup, most of the time three will get it. But uh, there's some other boards that are just like, uh, no, I'm going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. You know, and that's what happens. You know. All right. So we did that. Okay, let's try that now. I think that one's too hot. Yeah, that one's too hot. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Okay, come on, turn off. We'll go one up. Alright, so point zero's out of there. Can't use that. Because that, that, that runs like shit. Alright, so let's see here. We'll go to 60.06. We'll try point three on this one right here. I said it all depends on the multiplier. Let's see, like I said, Alexi, Alexi was the one that designed these timing files, and I helped test them back in 2013 or 14, whenever he came out with this crap. Myself and Chris Jewell and Mozzie and, and Sigfrido Gomez, and we were the ones that were testing these timing files like a fucking maniac. And, um, you know, he'd send us all kinds of crazy stuff, so I seen stuff that was like, Jesus crap! <laughs> I'll never forget when he sent me in my shed, looking for a Canadian-made Xenon. I was like, oh my god, oh, we got a TTL because we want to... We want to see if we can pull the CPU key back. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, about about 1 a.m. in the morning and about 20 Xboxes, I found one. <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget that, boy. It was like, oh, my God. All right, let's try it out here now. Okay. Yeah, see? Okay, that was point six. Okay, good. All right. So, I'll tell you what. That was second second pulse. Not bad. I like to keep it between one and three pulses. You know, I mean... Between one and three is perfectly acceptable. You know, I mean, every once in a while, the thing is going to mess up or whatever. The SMC might mess up and it might take a little longer, but that's just the nature of the beast, you know? But for the most part, you want something that's going to be reliable. There you go. Okay, so that's two, one. Okay. Yeah, it booted. Yeah, it did. All right. All right. Whenever you see that triple blink, that's when you know it succeeded, okay? So, all right. We'll turn it off. I like being an animal with these things because I know some people just like to push the button like a fucking maniac. So, I do the same thing. Alright, let's try that again now. Okay, 211. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very acceptable. Alright, um, you know, that's what you want. Okay? Like I said, you want to, you want to have it reliable. Between one and three cycles and it booting between one and three cycles repeatedly, that's good. Alright? Um, what we'll do now, it's just for haha's sake, now we'll, what we will do, we will pull the power on this thing, okay? And then we're going to put it back in there and freaking jolt it real good, like that. Now we're going to try and hit it again and see what it does. Obviously, it didn't make a damn bit of difference because this is, there you go, okay? So that's good. Most of the time, that's that's really a good timing file right there. That'll work for this board. All right, so now, now that we got that screw squared away, all right, now it's time... To go ahead and you know, like I said, you want to see you want to see the way that I do them. This is the way that you do them, okay? Oh, break! Ah, Chewy, how are you, man? Brian, how are you, man? Good to see you. Xenon, ooh. When somebody says Xenon, I'm like, ooh. um. Brian, yours was sent out, man. Okay, hit up Lorraine Meadows Road. She, she's got the tracking number for you, bro. All right, now, look. Here's the deal. Okay, now we might as well just go ahead and plug this in here like this. And then we will plug this in here like this. All right, now, why I'm doing this is because I want to go ahead and make sure that when I apply all the accessories to this thing, that that timing file is going to work. Because, obviously, as you add stuff, you're adding amp draw. Okay, so that changes things, you know, on the electronic side of it, you know. I mean, right down to the stupid wireless adapter right here. Okay, so we're going to plug that in too while we're at it. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug the hard drive into this thing also. All right. That way then we know for sure, we know for a fact that this thing 
it's got everything in it that it's going to need to boot and run. And hopefully, the timing file will say will stay the same. So we're going to power it on now, and uh, we'll see. Yep, there she goes. One shot, one kill. Yep, she booted. We're going to hit eject. That's one shot, one kill. Okay, that's good. And that's with everything plugged into it. All right, and with that hard drive, it should boot now. Let's see what it does. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So anyway, there you go. All right, and uh, now she booted. Okay, life is good. Now I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll power it off. All right. And we're going to do this. One more time. I love the way the tape holds over that thing. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> Can't see the CPU key. Na, 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 na. All right. So let's try it again. Let's see what happens here. Now hopefully. Let's see. Okay. Yep, there she goes. Okay. Second cycle. Not bad. All right. We'll turn it off. Okay, good. Turn it back on. I guess I want to abuse the fuck out of it because I want to make sure that it's going to come on. Yep, that's one shot, one kill right there. Yep. Okay, good. Alright, we'll turn it off. Okay, turn it back on. Yep, one shot, one kill. There it goes. I can see by the reflection in the green coming through here. That's why I know it's booting. Alright? So anyway, you know, I mean, there you go. Alright? So, we're good. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> Thank you, dear Lord. Yeah, one more time, what the hell. Yep, there she goes. Alright, good deal. Alright, now I can honestly say, yeah, this is this is good. This should work just fine. Alright, so we're going to keep that timing file that we got right here. Alright, and then what we're going to do, is we're going to go ahead, I'm going to pull all that mess. The reason why I turned off was because it was trying to contact the server that is not there. Okay, <laughs> because that's what's on that hard drive. Okay, so, now we'll pull all this off right here, okay, and now what we'll do is we should be able to put this all back together again for you, Brian, okay, I don't know where Brian is, he requested this, and yet I haven't seen hide your hair of the guy, okay, you know, I go like, am I doing this for my health or what, all right, you know, all right, so anyway, let's put that on there, yep, put that off of there, okay, good, make sure that's on there. There we go. Okay, good. And we'll grab hold of the uh, front of this thing right here. Alright. See what happens right here. Yeah, he wanted a 500 gig drive with this thing, so that's what I'm going to, that's what he's going to get. So it's going to be freaking loaded with everything, of course. And we'll go ahead and we'll put this back together again here. I hope that this was educational for some people, you know, and if they want to try and attempt this. Which is cool, you know. My, 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 you know, my best to you. And like I said, just take your time. Don't be in a rush. There, there is no rush, okay. And don't, don't make it so that there is a rush. All right. Just take your time. Go slow. There's no reason to be a maniac, okay. It ain't going anywhere. I promise. All right. Now we'll clip that on there. That's good. And then what we'll do? We'll put our screws in it. Come on, you little piece of. Mm. I have an extra one. <laughs> okay, I'll shove that in there. Yep, that's in there. Okay. Well, let's screw that down. I actually work from the center out to get it that way. Okay. There you go. Oh. All right. Okay, now, that's done. Take this, put a little wireless adapter in there, just like that. Then we will go ahead, we will, we will screw that down. There you go. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll grab this thing right here. Okay. Yep. And we will go ahead and we will clip this on there. Just like that. Just there like that, like that, boom, boom, clip, done. Very nice. Yeah, we will go ahead and do a wheel. We almost lost the camera there, that would have been funny. <laughs> okay. 
And now we'll put a cover on. Make sure it goes the right way. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And we'll put our ventilation grill in. Oh, it's vented. Yes. We'll flip that around. And we'll grab hold of this one right here. Yeah. Yes. So nice. So neat. So fully packed. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. And pretty much uh, more good shit. I think. Let's see what happens, shall we? Okay, now I don't have a hard drive in it, so it should boot up and stay running, actually. I can only hope, alright? You know, I mean, because that's the only way. You know how that goes, okay? And I do believe that my monitor definitely frizzed out. That sucks. I hate that when it does that. Oh my god. It's like, don't mess with me, because I'll hurt you. Okay? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, look at this shit. Hold on. Let me do this here. Hey! Come on. Don't play with me. I'll hurt you. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, come on. Let's go. Bring it back up. Like I said, I hate this freaking monitor, guys. I really See, look at that. See, it's, it's not even... There. Okay, thank you. Oh, my God. This thing's going to give me a freaking heart attack here in a minute, all right? Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, okay, so it booted like this screen. Here we go. Okay. So, there you have it, okay? So, she's done. <laughs> oh, there's Brian now. Derek, what's happening to me? I am abusing her. <laughs> I have a Star Wars console, man. In fact, I have several of them. Hey, Brian. Brian, I hope that you are watching this crazy thing because I put this all together for you. I went through everything with this thing. If you don't rewatch this thing, it's 51 minutes long. If you don't rewatch this thing, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> but um, anyway, listen, uh, you know, as you can see, she's all together. Runs good. Sounds good. Everybody watch it go together. Ejects good. Yeah, ejaculation. Yes, and it's fine. So anyway, there you go. Alright, um, right now I'm just, uh, finishing up your, uh, freaking hard drive here. And, by the way, here's the hard drive, okay? And as you can see, that's brand new. We don't play around here, okay? That hard drive also has a, uh, three-year warranty on it, alright? So, you know, in the event anything should happen, it has a warranty for three years from OEM. It's stamped on the hard drive, too, so I'll know it, alright? But anyway, uh, there you go, Brian, okay? She's all done, she's rocking and rolling. She runs good, sounds good, smells good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, she smells good. Okay, all right. So anyway, yeah. Um, and, of course, here is your CPU key that you cannot see because I kept that, you know, don't need to see that, okay? But anyway, that was all the result. And, of course, the timing file I used was a 60.6 uh, .6 TRL 0.3 60.6 .6 XSVF, okay? That's the one that, that was mainly happy with this one, okay? Some of them were different, some of them, you know, different time of files, whatever. But anyway, there you go, okay? So, hey, I am giving it to her, man. Giving it to her long and hard. Wow! Yeah! Look. I'm even exciting my unicorn, see? He's shaking. <laughs> anyway, listen, guys, y'all have a good one and be safe, okay? I'm going to get this thing freaking together for you. So that way that I can ship it all with the rest of them that I'm shipping out today that happens to be about... 12. Okay, so anyway, y'all have a good one, guys. Thank you for hanging with me. I do greatly appreciate it. You guys are awesome, all right? And y'all have a good one. I'll holler at you later, okay? Take care, guys. Be safe.